Elizabeth Holmes, the disgraced founder of the failed Silicon Valley blood testing startup Theranos, reported to prison yesterday after her recent request to remain free on bail during her appeal was denied, closing a chapter of her life that once held boundless potential. She would now begin an 11-year prison sentence after being convicted on multiple charges of defrauding investors while leading the now defunct startup. Holmes, who became a mother during the course of her trial, expressed her desire to spend more time with her young children before beginning her sentence. The judge had granted the postponement, allowing her to have some additional time with her family. However, Holmes is now expected to serve her sentence at federal prison Camp Bryan in southern Texas, a minimum security facility near her hometown of Houston. Her ex-boyfriend and former Theranos COO, Ramesh Sunny Belwani, was also convicted of fraud and began serving his sentence in California last month. Once an icon in the tech world, Elizabeth Holmes embodied the Silicon Valley dream. Dropping out of Stanford at 19, she pursued Theranos full-time, claiming to have developed groundbreaking blood testing technology using just a few drops of blood. I'm a Theranos technician. I'm a Theranos technician. I'm a Theranos technician. The company raised nearly $1 billion in investments and reached a valuation of $9 billion, making Holmes on paper a billionaire. Her story captivated the public's attention and was serialized in the Emmy award-winning show with Holmes portrayed by American actress Amanda Seyfried. Theranos began to unravel after it was exposed that the company had performed only a fraction of the tests it offered using its proprietary technology, relying instead on third-party devices from traditional blood testing companies. Holmes and Belwani were indicted together almost five years ago on 12 criminal charges and ordered to pay approximately $452 million in restitution to the victims of their crimes. The guilty verdicts in this case reflect Ms. Holmes' culpability in this large-scale investor fraud and she must now face sentencing for her crimes. As Elizabeth Holmes prepares to enter prison, her journey serves as a stark reminder of the consequences that come with deceptive practices and unchecked ambition. It also highlights the importance of transparency and ethical conduct in the tech world. 